What's up guys, AJ here, and as you can tell in the background, I got some Black Ops 2 sniper gameplay for you. And I uh, want to talk about a couple things in this video. First of all, I want to give my honest opinion. Uh, with that being said, I've played the game for like 6 hours or something, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Um, the game is awesome. Highly recommend that you guys go get it right this second. Um, it's, it's the most balanced COD, it's the best COD that I've ever played. And, you know, I'm just loving it. Now, first of all, before... I get into all the good stuff because there's tons of that and not very much bad stuff. I do want to talk about a couple bad things. Um, number one being the players. You know, there's there's bad players and they're going to be camping. They're going to be camping their hearts out. They're going to be playing like jerks. They're going to be using um, as cheap tactics as they can use, running around with rocket launchers, etc. And that's pretty much the only bad thing. You know, it's just the players in general. And once they start... I don't know, getting higher level guns and learning new tactics, it, I don't think it'll be as bad. I think it's worse now than what it's a actually going to be. And, you know, hopefully hopefully that'll get better. But now on to all the good stuff, and there's tons of it. Uh, first off, I want to talk about the maps. Um, the maps the maps are fantastic. The maps are awesome. There is quite a few head glitching spots. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you guys where they're at, because I'm sure Team Arden already will. Um, but as you can tell, actually, in the beginning of this gameplay, you see two guys head glitching. Um, you know, that's just... I, I can deal with it. It really doesn't bother me too much. I don't personally try and head glitch. Um, if it's, you know, a good spot for me, I'll definitely go there. But for the most part, I definitely don't try and head glitch. Um, recommend that you guys don't either. Now, the weapons. The weapons are even. The weapons are balanced. The weapons are amazing. Um, there's probably about the same as in Black Ops. Maybe a little bit less weapons. I'm not really sure. I haven't really counted how many. And, you know, the weapons The weapons are awesome. They're all balanced. They're all even. You don't have one submachine gun like they have the MP7 in this game. Not overpowered. Not at all. Not. It's, you know, you could get killed by a shotgun if you have an MP7 or anything like that. It all depends just, you know, based on your skill level. And um, if, you're, if you're shooting someone first in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, majority of the time you will win, um, depending on your accuracy and where you're shooting them at, you know. If you're shooting them in the foot and they're shooting you in the head, they're definitely going to win the gunfight. You know, there's no, you know, getting turned on. I know I've said you know a lot, guys. My bad. I haven't done a commentary in a couple days, and I'm excited and everything. But on to the, like, customization aspect of the game. The game runs smoothly. The game's... It's awesome, man. Like, um, the kill streaks. Kill streaks are all awesome. I'm going to do, uh, while I'm on that topic, I'm going to be doing a kill streak review series showing you guys, like, what each, what each kill streak does, maybe. I might be doing that series. I'm not sure yet. It all depends on, you know, what you guys think of it. Maybe in the comments, right? If you want to, want me to do that series or want me to not, I'll just, uh, review the best kill streaks. Um, make them into classes, you know, use them in classes and different stuff like that put up some high scoring gameplay and different things like that. Um, the thing that this game really influences, which I really enjoy, is the PTFO aspect, which is play the freaking objective. Now, I'm sure a lot of you like to kill whore like me, right? Yeah, mm-hmm, nod your head. Now, this game does promote playing the objective a lot. So if you sit back in your spawn and get seven kills, you might only have a UAV. In fact, I have done that once before. But if you run out there and get some dog tags and stuff, you'll already be up to, I don't know, a dragon fire. It all, it all, it just all depends. It, the, the game goes by points. It doesn't go by kills. So get out of your spawn, guys. Quit camping. You know, run around, play the objective, and you'll do, you'll do good. It's not a very hard game. It's pretty quick to learn. It is different than any other COD that I've ever played. It has, it's, it's just its own aspect. It has um, the greatness that Modern Warfare 2 had, the capabilities of having. Except it's actually great. And as you guys can tell in the gameplay, you know, I'm wrecking. I get the uh, VTOL Warship, which is the chopper gunner in this game. And it's not overpowered. It's, it's I don't know, it's, it doesn't seem very overpowered. It doesn't last very long. Um, to me, it's worth it, yes. But that's, that's pretty much me, you know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the mediocre commentary. And, um, I just want to talk real quick. I'm going to be doing a new series called Recommended Class. And basically I'm going to break down every gun in the game, um, give you the best class with it, and also some gameplay with it. And 
I think that's pretty much it, all that I have for you guys today, so be on the lookout. I'll probably upload the recommended class first episode tomorrow, and bye!